Wakey, wakey. About to get this walk started. To become the best, you need to uh, just break rules. I mean, you can't, you have to be by yourself. You can't look at others. And so many, like, you get used to looking at another, another, like, as an example. And soon you don't know where you're going, you just stop learning how to think. A few heroes will be remembered. One of them is Mark Gonzo Gonzalez. The Gons earned his stripes in the rad streets and crazed curves of Los Angeles. And he continues to terrorize all that confronts him with aggro style. A sort of Barishnikov in combat fatigues. I think a lot of the skaters, the parts of falling have shaped how they've come up in, in terms of like a, as a person and how they deal with other people. They have to restructure, figure it out, and then come back up again and then try it again. The skateboarding has helped to, to teach them these things that people go to school to learn and stuff like that, but they learn it from just doing it every day. Anyone that was a skater at that time was influenced by him, myself, as much as anybody. The way he looked at the world, and not only the way he skated, but just the way he thought. Pretty much all of street skating that can be attributed to Mark, what he did to the progression of it, like, created modern street skating. You walk down the street and for every one thing you see, he sees ten things. And he's going to interact with them all. Early birds are up, getting them worms. Oh, wakey, wakey. Okay, we're about to get ahead of this soreness. I, uh, I'm not feeling that bad right now. I mean, I'm definitely sore in every muscle, but it has not creeped in yet. So, let's go get some steps. that hair fuel on wednesday he woke up to his head fully covered as if it had regressed back a decade in a day he couldn't explain what happened on thursday though <laughs> yeah good morning hope you slept great hope you feel great oh Hope you can beat that sun up. I mean, don't fight it. Just uh, be up before it. Man, it's my favorite part about the day. Nobody's out here. Just animals and nature, peace and quiet. It's breathtaking. All right, slow and steady. No rush, keep the soreness pinned down till we get back home. Meow. See it, kitty? <sighs> All right, we got some steps in so far. Not feeling as bad as last Wednesday, but definitely feeling heavy. 
my legs feel heavy, my upper body feels heavy. I'm just going slow, I'm not trying to move it. And uh, yeah, it feels all right right now. Although it's not even seven o'clock yet. By 10 o'clock, I'll uh, let you know. There's the sun. Ooh, yeah, straight to the face. Program that sleep. Yeah, we're at uh, 6,000 steps. And comparing this to uh, last week's getting 6,000 steps, I remember we had to take a break at 1,000 steps. So, definitely uh, easier than last week. But just getting ahead of it, you know, got to get ahead of the soreness. Last week, I don't think we were ahead of it. Oh, it's incredible living in a Bob Ross painting every day. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. There's a link in the description. for mind tools. Put me in nature where I belong. Another quick little break. We're at uh, 8,500 steps, and um, we're doing okay. I think just because we got ahead of it all. Last week we didn't get we didn't get walking until about 8 a.m. It's not even 8 a.m. yet, right now. So uh, we're gonna start heading back to the truck. Uh, I am gonna need a relief stick here soon. I could actually use one now, but. I'm gonna suffer a little bit longer and wait till we get to our uh, favorite porch. Yeah, go to our smoking porch. Okay, see you there. Made it to our smoking porch, but uh, we're not gonna get our relief yet. We're gonna suffer a little bit longer. All right, gonna make it to our bench. Then we're busting out some grape noir. Made it to our bench. Definitely ready for a fucking break. Yeah, suffering management. <laughs> Man, throughout the walk, I just kept thinking about that bowl of English cake I had last night for dessert. It's so fucking good. Yep. Grinding through it to earn that next bowl. All right, gonna uh, chill here for a little bit, start heading to the truck, and then we're gonna stop by uh, Target, and I'm gonna grab another leash. Let's see if they got any tech decks. Uh, I've been sitting here uh, taking a break for a little bit. My friend Jack called me and. We had a fantastic conversation. He was just telling me that uh, one of his good uh, co-workers just died randomly, got up in the middle of the night, ate something, had a peanut allergy, and fucking died. And it made him think of me almost dying of the uh, appendix rupture and the septic fucking poison eating me alive. So we just had a nice catch-up, and, uh, you know, it's, it's good to uh, check in. And, uh, you know, it's always nice. Uh, also, sitting here, the, uh, the pedometer on the uh, camera here takes a while to uh, catch up. It's like got a 10 minute delay. So I just checked the steps. It says we're at 12,000, 2,500. 
So that's pretty good for, you know, uh, morning after the training and, uh, and no release stick until 12,000 steps. Like I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with that. So that's just telling me, you know, my legs are getting stronger. I'm able to, I'm able to go farther. Um, so the progress, you know, it's, it's showing, but, uh, yeah, just wanted to implement that into this, uh, documentation all right legs are feeling uh, better and uh, you ready let's do it oh yeah oh yeah made it back yeah so I just checked uh, it's gonna have to catch up but it says we did 4.1 miles so and it felt easy I mean I'm not gonna say easy but it was definitely one of the easier walks yet so i mean my knees my right knee was staying in gear the whole time my left knee uh wasn't sensitive so yeah i felt good so hopefully that can increase even more um, that'd be great for me the more walking i can do that means the more skating i can do mm -hmm. all right let's go right now. Let's go see if they got leashes. Six hundred and fifty dollars. That's a six hundred and fifty dollar pool, but we got it for nine dollars. Yeah, good bargain for us. Small 16 footer. Yep, that's the one. Oh, god damn. You ready to eat something? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, I'm gonna whip some protein up for us. And do a little stretch. Oh, yeah. Turkey burger. Texas toast, French toast, and we're making some guacamole. Oh. Here you go. Mm. Thank you. Texas toast, turkey, guacamole sandwich. Mmm. Pretty fucking good. See that fresh garlic in there? Garlic, onions, jalapeno. Mmm. Thirty grams of protein. Mmm. You see my breakfast? It was a leftover turkey burger I made the other day. I have a couple of them. Just heated that up and uh, made some Texas toast, egg whites, and onion powder and garlic powder. That was it. Put it on a bed of lettuce with green olives 
And then I made my own little guacamole and then put that guacamole on top of the lettuce, dip my sandwich in, it was fucking amazing. And it just hit 90 degrees outside, it's now 11 o'clock. Gonna be a hot one today. So I'm pretty much in, in for the next couple of hours, just gonna take it easy. I can feel the soreness starting to come in now, right about now. I was standing up cooking and it's like, oh man, I feel it. My whole body's getting taken over by it now. <clears throat> it's like once I stop, that's why last week I think I got a late start or I wasn't as conditioned as I am now. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my grape noir. Got a little mushroom coffee. Cheers. Mm, good shit. I like those natural, earthy flavors. Mushroom, tobacco, weed. Yeah, they all grow from the ground, they all fucking taste good. Yummy, yummy. Daily nutrition. Yeah, I got my uh, relief gummies on back up, but I'm waiting until the soreness really settles in before I eat those. I could be smoking a pipe right now, especially with that coffee. Mmm. In moderation. My pipe and my skateboard go together well. It's like when I do well on my skateboard, I wanna reward myself with a pipe. That's how it's always been. And I feel a lot more rewards coming soon, so good on me. All right, kids, let's go in. It's hot out here. Oh, oh, it feels so good in here. Let's go take a break. Right in there. Oh, gotta watch those full moons. You don't like them wolves on TV, do you? Oh no, you get them. Oh yeah, you get them. Kick back, relax, that's right. some cooking all right gonna whip up some uh, sweet potato pancakes protein powered one whole egg two egg whites half a scoop of protein powder and a sweet potato mm. mix that shit up there we go sweet potato protein pancake mix Peanut butter. Oh yeah. Mmm. So fucking good. Welcome back to Mono Mono. Whoa. Mm, yummy, yummy. Mmm. So fucking good. To the healers. Just got done fueling again. Oh man, see those sweet potato protein pancakes? So fucking good. But uh, yeah, I can feel the uh, the muscle soreness is coming now. Yeah, laid down, watched a movie with Dad and Anya. Got up to. 
make lunch and I was like, oh yeah, feeling it now. I can feel all my shoulders, all my chest, my legs, my ass, everything's just, oh. it's starting to get slow, <laughs> slow movement now. I was feeling heavy this morning, now the slow is sinking in, so looks like it might rain, cool down a little bit, but if it uh, it's permittable later, we'll go for a walk, see how that feels. But yeah, I'm just gonna stay chill. And gummy should be kicking in soon. Melt my fucking muscle soreness away. I like to try to time it like right when that soreness comes in. The uh, gummy comes in and goes, ah, let's just take you down. Smooth you out a little bit. That's how it feels. The CBD comes in and says... Not today, motherfucker. Hmm. I thought I could tell you guys a story. Maybe one day, one of these nights when I'm uh, chilling, having a pipe, I'll tell you a story. But uh, the basis of the story will be the last time that I worked. And uh, a couple years ago, I went back to school and uh, got a master's in medical marijuana. So I applied that master's, used it, went into the workforce, and it was just horrifying. <laughs> I mean, fucking horrifying. The cr but yeah, I'll tell you guys all about it. One night over a pipe, I had to sign a uh, fucking document, you know, saying I wouldn't talk about anything from being there, but pff, I don't give a fuck. There's secrets out of the bag. I But yeah, I was, uh, the last time I had to heal myself, you know, I used uh, a lot of CBD, um, and it, and it, and it helped, it worked. I mean, I, I healed fast from, you know, what I was dealing with at that time. And really, in my experimentation, you know, you, you, you can go to the convenience store and buy a CBD fucking pre-roll. But if it's not, if it's not one to one, and it's not, uh, you know, THC supported, you're not gonna, you know, I, I just don't feel like you're gonna get the full benefits out of it. I didn't feel that way until I was using CBD with THC, you know, one to one, any kind of ratio. Um, but yeah, I mean, everybody's body's different, so. It's, uh, it's all self-experimentation. You may think that your doctor could tell you, but, you, you know, what do they know? They don't fucking know shit. They know nothing about you. They know something about you for five minutes, and then they forget it. Definitely vitamin and nutrient needed for my relief. And it works. Wouldn't do it if it didn't. When I was at the uh, dispensary the other day, I ran into uh, a lady. Her name was Donna. And me and her got hired at the same time. We started the same day, and then we were separated. She worked outside. I worked inside. I was in the, uh, the packaging room running the machine. I was a machine operator. I was the only one that could run every fucking machine there and fix every machine. And uh, get people in there. Not know what the fuck they're doing, adjust my shit, fuck my shit up, and then I'd come in and have to fix their shit, get my shit running right. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you people? Well, I can tell you what was wrong with them. Amateur fucking hour is what it was. It was amateur fucking hour. I, I came from a professional workforce, you know, 
and disciplined workforce and safe workforce to the complete opposite. Yeah, it was the complete opposite. Hmm. But I'm glad I experienced it because it was uh, it was definitely it was definitely a fucking experience. And I think I almost made it a year there. Yeah, I almost made it a year. And I didn't quit. I didn't get fired. Uh, when the COVID came. Now I'm taking care of my dad. He's over 65. And at the time, it was like, yeah, if you're living with somebody or taking care of somebody that's over 65, um, we don't want you coming into work. So uh, I got paid for a month to not be there. And then they're like, okay, you got to come back. And I'm like, well, the situation's only gotten worse out there in the world. Uh, and now you want me to come back into it? I was like, I, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more time. And then their response was, okay, well, you can, um, you can reapply. Thanks for your service. <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, wasn't expecting that, but I didn't give a fuck because I wanted to quit, but I, I just don't quit anything. You know, I never quit. And I was trying to, figure out how I could get out without getting fired and quit prior to the uh, pandemic bullshit. So the pandemic bullshit saved me, you know, got me out. And then, you know, I'd live my life normally and uh, never paid attention to any of that stuff. Bypassed all of it until I had to go to the hospital and get this fucking surgery. And uh, they stuck that fucking Q-tip, touched my brain with it. And they, they snuck that one up on me too. It was like right before surgery. I'm like, what does it matter? I mean, what does it fucking matter? You got people in here, they got all kinds of fucking diseases, you know? All right, I guess I quit gabbing. All right, I'm gonna go back to putting my feet up. Let these muscles fucking heal. Okay. Hear that? Go investigate. Yeah, investigate. Mm. How's that smoothie? change soon. Oh yeah. All right. Sunset sesh time. Just got done having a smoothie. Well, I had a half a smoothie and three pieces of French toast with some blueberries. And now we're going to go walk 
um, like two, three o'clock, the soreness was creeping in and I took uh, four of the gummies and it kind of just like grabbed it, subsided it down a little bit. So I feel like I did this morning now, like I'm starting all over again, but uh, we'll see how I feel at the end of this walk. All right, you ready? Let's go. So we got a lap around the uh, lake so far and uh, comparing my body feel to this morning, eh, it's comparable. I feel heavy and, you know, and slow and every step I take, I can feel every muscle, but it's not that bad. It's uh, really tolerable, so. Yeah. Feels good. Sweating now. Let's see if we can get one more lap, but the storm looks like it's coming this way. Oh, we just made it. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got uh, over 18,000 steps. Not bad for uh, after training day compared to last Wednesday. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely hope uh, the future Wednesdays feel like this because this is the first one that's felt good in a while. So okay, we're gonna go home. Stay dry. You ready to do this? We made it. Oh, we made it. We did. Boy, we just missed that shit. <laughs> well, all in all, to recap the day, today is the best Wednesday I felt in a long time. I can't remember a Wednesday feeling this good, so I'm uh, super hyped on that. But uh, I'm sure there's more soreness coming tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see. It's like the awesome part of it. I get to compare week to week. Yeah. All right. I'm going to throw this thing together and uh, get ready to go to bed here soon. I got to do an early morning walk and then uh, I got to drive two hours north and take dad to the uh, veterans hospital. Got to go to the VA. He's getting his uh, trigger finger fixed. So he's having surgery on his hand. So that's going to be tomorrow. And there'll be some. Uh, of course, rehabbing that, so we'll be filming probably. Every day's rehab.